One evening, I saw something strange in the avocado sapling that was growing in a blue pot. Something did not fit. As I approached, this tiny bird flew around and away. It was a songbird or a tailor bird. Their flight is quick and short, bursts like darting flights. The nest or the brood had three tiny eggs in it, pale blue or pastel blue with speckled reddish brown spots. The tailor bird is a passerine, that is it's a bird where three of its toes point forward and one backward. This is how it sits on a branch when it perches. It feeds on insects of all kinds as it needs the protein in them to form a powerful packed diet. Sorry. The tailor bird's heart beats about 100 beats a minute and in flight it can go up to 600 beats per minute. This means it burns calories at a very alarming rate. The female tailor bird builds the nest and the male helps her to be fed while she is hatching the eggs and even to feed the nestlings after they are born. The tails are often held upright, just like a robin's. Much thought goes into building the nest, as they generally do breed in rainy season. It has to be well protected from the rain. And also has to have a way to cleverly camouflage the nest so that no rodents or cats or snakes can get to the nest. The nest usually is very very selectively located one meter or two meters off the ground and is well camouflaged. As there is no browning caused when the tailor bird pierces the leaves with its beak. So the leaves are still growing on the tree, lush and blending with all the other leaves. Things. Tailor birds are very clean. They continuously clean the nest and it's so designed in case water gets in, it drains out easily. The entrance to the nest is from the top and it always follows one way in and one way out. It never uses the same approach coming into the nest or leaving the nest. Her mate calls to her, letting her know that he has caught her some insects to feed her. So she quickly hops away to grab a bite. She tries to get enough sleep in between feeds as the night would be long and troublesome. A different fate awaits the tailor bird. The predator who hunts insects becomes a prey at night. And soon the 
many mosquitoes are swarming to attack the tailor bird. When the tailor bird roosts at night, it fluffs up its body like a ball by making all its feathers stand up. This makes it also hard for the mosquito to reach the tailor bird's skin. And you could also clearly see the tailor bird's heart beating throughout the night. It uses its tail to flicker off these pests and sometimes it has to get up to even snap at them. The female tailor bird incubates the eggs for 13 to 14 days. It's day 13 since she laid her eggs and today the eggs have hatched. The fledglings are blind till they reach day 5 and they are born featherless. That is why a nest is very important to protect the nest. The female tailor bird builds the nest and the male helps her to be fed while she is hatching the eggs and even to feed the nestlings after they are born. And the male tailor bird has a longer beak and also has an additional thin long feather on his tail which is not present in the females. When feeding the young, they do have a very special way how they remember which nestling they have fed. Otherwise, they would keep feeding one of them and the rest would starve. And since this is done in teamwork, both the male and the female communicate well and make sure they are feeding all the nestlings. Tailor bird is pretty cautious when it is coming back to the nest to feed the nestlings. It doesn't fly directly to the nest. It sometimes flies past the nest, lands on a branch nearby then changes its position, again darting to and fro a couple of times, making sure it's all alone and there's no predators watching. Only then does it slowly hop into the sapling and into the nest. The tailor birds feed their young, mostly insects, bugs or even spiders. The favorite are moths,
saw its nest. It had built using two leaves. It made holes with its beak on both sides of the leaves and pulled it together and using fibers both natural and artificial riveted the two sides together forming a cup. Then it lined the nest with grass and other fiber from natural sources to create a soft and comfortable nest and into the nest. It's been five days now and the fledglings have left the nest along with their parents. They moved to a safer place I couldn't get this on camera but after a week we saw the fledglings now juvenile and the feathers all grown except for the tails were still short they came back to the shoe flower tree and were suckling on honey from the shoe flowers and they were making quite a noise or quite a racket I would say we were very happy to see them back and to know that they were safe. Thank you for watching. This is Gerard Ritchie for Science Rocks.